there's no doubt about it, Ana de Armas is on her way to becoming a major star. The Cuban-Spanish actress etched her way into Hollywood through films like Knock Knock, War Dogs, and Hands of Stone, but it was Blade Runner 2049 that really put her on people's radars. Only a couple years later, she had a star-making role in a crowded ensemble with 2019's Knives Out in a witty, radiant performance that secured her a Golden Globe nomination. As she continues to climb into superstardom with a much-anticipated role in the new James Bond film, No Time to Die, it is time people got to know Ana de Armas. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about the talented actress. She was born and raised in Cuba. Born on April 30, 1988, Ana de Armas is the daughter of a teacher and a human resources worker, and she was born in Santa Cruz de Norte, Cuba. Growing up in Havana, she had one brother, and she studied acting at the National Theatre School of Cuba around age 14. She moved to Spain when she was 18. De Armas' maternal grandparents were from Spain, so she was able to inherit Spanish citizenship through them. At 18, she left Cuba with $300 to pursue an acting career in Spain. Almost immediately, she was cast on the boarding school set Thriller El Internado, a massive hit that ran for seven seasons. She started her career in Spain. From the time she was 12 years old, De Armas knew she wanted to be an actress. She started training in Cuba, but didn't hit the big screen until she moved to Spain. Her first appearance was in the 2006 Spanish film Una Rosa de Francia, a rose from France, but her big break came when she scored a role in the television show El Internado, The Internship, in 2007. She later starred in a number of Spanish television shows and movies before making the move to Hollywood. Her first major role was Knives Out. Continuing to work in a number of Spanish-language productions throughout the next decade, De Arma's first American role came in the 2015 erotic horror thriller Knock Knock, directed by Newton native Eli Roth. After 2016 appearances in the sports biopic Hands of Stone and the dark comedy War Dogs, she had a breakthrough role as AI Hologram Joy in the 2017 sci-fi film Blade Runner 2049, opposite Ryan Gosling and Harrison Ford. But her first major lead role came in the role of Marta Cabrera in Rianne Johnson's Knives Out. She held a memorable role as an outsider to Thromby's family and a liaison with authorities investigating the old man's sudden death. It secured her with a Golden Globe nomination. She didn't speak English until she moved to Hollywood in 2014. Since her native language is Spanish, De Armas had to learn English when she moved to the US. In a 2016 interview with AOL, she said, I don't know if you know, when I moved to LA two years ago, I didn't speak English at all, so forgive me if I make a mistake or say something weird. When she arrived in Los Angeles, De Armas enrolled in English classes, but she didn't try to achieve fluency before auditioning. Instead, she learned on the job. She told Telegram, I was clear that the reason I was here was not to get a degree in English. I forced them to send me out to auditions and meetings, even though I couldn't understand half of it. She landed her first English language role in Knock Knock opposite Keanu Reeves. She almost turned down her role in Knives Out. When Knives Out was released in November 2019, it was an immediate hit. With a cast that included Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, Jamie Lee Curtis, Tony Collette, Michael Shannon and more, it was guaranteed to be a blockbuster. But it was Ana de Armas that the audience fell in love with, and the crazy thing is she almost didn't audition for the role. Initially, de Armas was reluctant to take the part because from the description alone, Marta seemed like a stereotype. She told Vanity Fair, the script description said Marta was a caretaker, Latina, and pretty. That's it, and I'm like, what, I'm not doing that. Because for a Latina in a setup like this, with a wealthy family and this cast, all I thought was, what am I going to do here, I'll probably be standing in a corner, not having much to say. Upon reading the entire script, however, she learned that not only is Marta the movie's central character, she's also the best, in our opinion, at least. She's starring in the next James Bond. In case you couldn't get enough of seeing De Armas and Daniel Craig on screen together in Knives Out, the actress is joining the veteran James Bond actor in No Time to Die, Craig's final performance in the spy franchise. The film was recently pushed back from a scheduled April debut to a November release due to the coronavirus outbreak. De Armas told the Los Angeles Times that her role as a CIA agent named Paloma came about after director Kerry Fukunaga decided to write one for her once it was determined the movie would be filming in Cuba. De Armas said that once she read the script, she decided she could play Fukunaga's version of a Bond girl. 
She told the Los Angeles Times, I wouldn't say she's ordinary, because when she needs to perform her job, she does. But she is flawed, she says what she feels, she's nervous, she's scared. It's human. When I read it, I was like, oh, wait, I can be a Bond girl, I'm that, I'm that messy. She was previously married to actor Mark Claudet. Before she moved to the United States and while she was continuing her acting career in Spain, De Armas was married to Mark Claudet, a model and fellow actor in Spain. Alas, the marriage didn't last long. Only a couple years later in 2013, the couple divorced, and it was shortly thereafter that she moved to the United States. Especially considering that this marriage took place early in her life, before she became an international star, it's unclear why these two separated. It is said that the actress keeps her romantic life private these days. She brings supplies when she travels to Cuba. De Armas, who is originally from Havana, Cuba, does not forget her roots nor the people or the country that raised her to be who she is today. An interview with Vanity Fair, De Armas revealed that when she visits her home country of Cuba, she doesn't pack clothes for herself. My suitcases go full of clothing or medicine or supplies, whatever people need, and come back empty. She will play Marilyn Monroe. Ana de Armas loves challenges, and her biggest one is yet to come. In 2021, she will hit the big screen playing the famed Marilyn Monroe in the Andrew Dominic-directed film Blonde. Though the film is currently in post-production, de Armas has spoken about the role, telling Vanity Fair that playing Monroe as a Cuban woman was absolutely groundbreaking, despite not initially knowing much about the starlet. The actress said that she only had to audition once for the role, 